people be taking the piss and I'm pissed off and I'm ranting in this video okay I'm not ranting <laughs> but in this video I'm going to be addressing something I feel that we need to talk about and that's difficult customers so if you want to hear my full rant you want to hear everything just keep watching and please hit that subscribe button please do your girl a solid and hit the subscribe button hi guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here i'm bb i'm a fashion entrepreneur i've been doing this for eight years now and this channel really is my outlet to share my experience and my journey so far so if you know me or you know my business you know that we're quite customer focused we're a customer centric business i do not joke with customers because customers are why you're in business in the first place but that i just feel like people try to take the freaking piss and i am coming as an individual <laughs> to address difficult customers because even me myself I've been a difficult customer at a point in time and you probably watching you you probably have been a difficult customer at some time who is a difficult customer one a customer that goes against your policy intentionally for example your refund policy states that you should you know you can do a refund within like maybe 10 days after purchase or whatever and this customer comes to you a year after yes people do that a year after months after and they're telling you that oh this item is not my size yada 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 on a regular day you have a policy it already states that this is how we do things here at the company but they will go and insist that this is what I want and you have to do this for me because you're my customer. So that one is a difficult customer. It doesn't have to be that scenario, but a customer that insists that they have to, they're demanding, I, this is how I want things to be done. They do not regard the policies and the rules that you have put in place for your business. One, that's a difficult customer. Two, a difficult customer is someone that is disrespectful. Someone that treats anyone aside from the owner of the business like crap. Some of them will even treat the owner like crap because they're like, you know what, I'm spending my money here. So I will talk to you how I want to talk to you. That's not that's unacceptable. First of all, customers that swear use curse words on staff, I do not condone it. And <clears throat> Don't treat people like crap. Another difficult customer is the customer that tries to bully you. You know those customers that just say any small thing, they're already threatening to drag you. Like, I'm going to drag you on Twitter. I'm going to call all my friends and we'll drag you. You will, you will see. Like, customers like that. They're customers like that. That You've not even... The conversation hasn't even escalated, it hasn't gotten to the point that, but they're already ready, like, they're already in fight mode, like, as if you've done something to them. There are customers like that, that will try to bully you and threaten you into doing something that you, they probably know that you wouldn't do. There's, there are businesses that care, like, we literally care, and we don't want drama, we don't want our business in the streets. But sometimes people use that and they use that as a leverage to sometimes take advantage of you. Of course, you as a business, you have to always react professionally at every point. But it's not okay. Another difficult customer is the customer that always wants the owner to attend to her or him. So, and this again is such a Nigerian thing. Because you don't go to top shop and expect Philip Green to attend to you. I know, okay, Nigerian businesses are relatively smaller, but they are growing and they've put systems and structures in place so that things can go smoothly and more efficiently. But every single time you want the owner of the business to attend to you. Let me give an example. Every time we have to place an order in Lady Biba, I have to go through someone. I can't just go into my inventory and take out stuff and give it to to a customer i don't do that because 
we've put structures in place and everything has to go through that process. So even when you tell me that you want to buy something from LB, I still go through them. So it's literally the same thing. But then I do understand why people prefer to go through the owner because sometimes some staff might be inefficient or they might do things and yeah, you ask for a manager or a supervisor or whatever, that's a different case. But you wanting to always get personalized service from the owners just, no. So I just have to quickly chip in. Very soon you're going to see a change in the video, the lighting, I'm wearing makeup, and it's just different. <laughs> I just had to put this because of continuity sake. It's because I had filmed this video before and I lost the first half of the footage. So this is just me filming again without makeup because I just quickly had to do this. I'm editing now. I just quickly had to do this. So what do you do when you have a difficult customer? They're not just difficult customer, customer that is unhappy. The very first thing that you have to do is to communicate be very very um be very clear in your communication so a lot of times a lot of times and i always tell my team communicate 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 a lot of times it is just communication that causes a lot of rift between businesses and customers either maybe a customer's package is being delayed or just something happened make sure you tell them don't be the one that don't don't um don't let them be the ones coming to follow up and then you telling them the bad news it's always better you preempt them and you communicate with them beforehand another thing you need to do is you need to predict situations before they happen so obviously you're not going to 100% satisfy every customer. Things are likely to happen. It might be, if you're a clothing business, it might be wrong fit, it might be quality issues, it might be that all bunch of, of things can happen. And what you should do is take time out, sit down with a pen and paper or with your laptop and type. Think of the worst case scenarios. What are the things that can happen and create a process or um, a resolution for those things so for instance um, a customer's package is delayed you should already have the type of message that you're going to send to the customer to communicate so you just need to be able to have um, preempted solutions already then three escalate so this will be in terms of like with your staff so it is not everything that should be escalated to you as a business owner depending on how many staff you have if you have like a direct supervisor before your customer service representative then it should be escalated to that direct supervisor and in the absence of a direct supervisor if you the business owner your your, your own your you if you, the business owner, directly supervises your customer service representative, then you should be able to, then you should um, make instances that say, okay, if, if you are not able to calm this customer down, or if you're not able to satisfy this customer, then escalate to me. If they've escalated any issue to you, it means that the customer service representative does not know what to do again. So at this point, you need to be as you need to be first of all very warm very calm and listen so one thing about customers is that everyone wants to be heard and you have to be as empathetic as possible you need to always put yourself in the shoes of your customers they're trying to buy from you they have not committed a crime so if they for some reason they're unhappy with their package or they are unhappy with just the service you need to be able to come down to that level and understand and see things from that perspective so the very first thing is to acknowledge acknowledge that you understand what they're going through one thing nobody wants to hear when they're angry is calm down <laughs> have you has anyone ever told you calm down when you're angry and you two you'd be like no because i feel like calm down is like putting fuel to fire like it will just <clears throat> Calming down never works. It, it just never works. So what you need to do is be quiet, listen, as in listen. You have to take your time to listen. And then when you listen, you acknowledge where 
you've gone wrong say i'm sorry that we have no no matter what no matter how difficult a customer is there's still it takes you to tango so there will still be a place where you need to acknowledge where your business has gone wrong so you need to acknowledge that over the phone and now you can't just acknowledge and say we're well, sorry ma. you have to come up with a resolution so it's either Say maybe they needed it for a wedding, or you just have to take the extra mile. It might cost, it might cause you to lose on that particular um, order. And I find that a lot of business owners, because they they still want to make their money, there's they're not going to make any form of resolution. And this is where I get mad as a customer because if you've inconvenienced me, if you've disappointed me, I want you to offer me something. I might not even take it, but I want you to. Take that step to say, oh, because we were not able to fulfill your order, it could be a refund. I personally do not like refunds because I still want my product in the hands of that person. It could be a voucher. It could be, you know, you, you have to be creative, come up with something. And you have to mention that this does not excuse what we've done, but we'd just like to you know, offer you this just because of the inconvenience. So you have to come up with a resolution whatsoever that will appease the customer. Because at the end of the day, customer acquisition is very expensive. It is easier to retain a customer than it is to acquire a customer. And the more customers that you have coming back, the better for your business. Um, have you heard of the Pareto principle? The Pareto principle states that 80% of your business will be from about 20% of your customers. And I've actually checked it out in the person i've seen that it is true so with that in mind you should know that a lot of the business will come from returning customers so you need to be able to cater well to your customers so that they keep coming back it is so 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 important for your customers to keep coming back because it is more expensive to acquire new customers than it is to maintain um, customers and customers are the lifeline. Like I've said before, they are the lifeline of your business. You should not joke with any customer, regardless of how difficult it may be, regardless of how much you will lose in the process. The truth is that the cost, the opportunity cost of losing a customer is much higher than what you would actually lose from making compensations and adjustments. So, I hope you've learned something from this video. I know that customer service is generally like, it's it's not an easy aspect of the business and it's something that we are all still learning every single day because every single day presents new challenges and new opportunities to exercise patience. So you have to, so, but for me, I just believe that, um, we small business, we SMEs are in a position to basically set the standard and just be better than what we have experienced. Because one of my my things when I set up my business is I customer service has to be good. Has it been has my customer service been good a hundred percent of the time? Of course not. Like there's still customers that we have disappointed along the way. But what we try to do is we try to keep it minimal and we try as much as possible to make sure that at least 99% of people are happy when they shop with us, if not 100. So yeah, I hope you've learned something from this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, let me hear your comments um, down below, share, subscribe, all, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Ciao.